As we come on the air tonight, police are looking for surveillance video to help them track down the person spreading anti-Semitism in Stoneham. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lisa Hughes. And I'm David Wade. The victim found the disgusting symbols spread out on her front lawn. WBC's Ken McLeod is live tonight with what investigators know so far. Ken? Well, David, on the morning after Halloween, you might expect to find a few candy wrappers scattered on your lawn, but what a Jewish family here in Stoneham found on theirs now has the full attention of police. Allison Adonisio returned home with her young daughter this evening, disgusted by the overnight events on our normally peaceful street. They've been my neighbors for a long, very long time, and they're just incredible, so it really breaks my heart. She's talking about something that greeted her Jewish neighbor when she stepped outside this morning. This morning when the residents came out of their home, they found uh, a number of swastikas. Five to be exact, made out of poster board and painted purple, some with anti-Semitic slurs handwritten on them. I couldn't imagine being a resident of our community coming out in the morning and seeing that on the front lawn. The woman initially posted pictures of the offending symbols on the community Facebook page to see if others in Stoneham had been targeted, but later removed her post and now does not want her family or house identified. It really breaks my heart to know that there's people like that still out here. You know, it's pretty sad. These sorts of incidents don't occur in a vacuum. Peggy Shuker of the Anti-Defamation League points to an almost 50% leap in anti-Semitic incidents last year in Massachusetts, higher than the national average, and says it breeds if communities don't condemn it loudly. This type of hate has no boundaries. Police say they'll scour the neighborhood for surveillance video, suspecting the culprit struck long after trick-or-treaters were gone. Depending on where the investigation takes us, it could be a violation of constitutional rights, which would be a felony. The Halloween night incident has brought scary to Whittemore Lane in a way that nobody here expected. It needs to stop. Hate for anyone, for any person, any religious background, whatever, it needs to stop. The victim told police she has had no previous threats and police have not yet found anyone else who was targeted. Now the victim does have a video doorbell, but it apparently did not catch the culprits. Live in Stoneham tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.